Hi everybody, it's been a while since I've made a video and to be honest I haven't really had anything that I've been able to think of to make a video about so if anyone has any suggestions that you want me to make a video about feel free to leave a comment or something but anyway I've been asked to do a, a short course on an introduction to game development and I've been doing a little bit of preparation for that and I thought I'd make a quick video on that Basically, I'm just going to make a quick game. I'll just make a plane. A uh, plane is just a 2D object. We'll be using a plane for the ground. So yeah, I'll just make a, a quick game using a couple of scripts that I've prepared. The purpose of this is just to get into what Unity does without having to go too far into the scripts and stuff basically get something running fairly quickly without too much playing around and so anyway we have our plane here and our camera the camera is the viewport if you don't if when you open up unity your scene looks like this uh, what I like to do is I like to separate the game you can just drag that over to the side so that it's in a separate area that just makes it a little bit easier to determine what's going on inside of unity anyway the plane looks fairly dark so we'll just quickly add a light a point light and I'll just drag that above the plane and we'll add a character I'm just going to use a sphere for a character and basically I'll just add some components that I was working on I'll just add some keyboard movement which is just a script that takes the yeah, the horizontal and vertical inputs and maps them to X and X and Z and you can change those to different axes and you can see the sphere moves around just when I add that script onto it and I'll I'll make I'll add a zip file with these scripts to the comments or something to the video on YouTube I'm not quite sure where I'll up them, upload them to yet, but I'll probably just upload them to some free file sharing utility. Anyway, there's our rough character that just has a bit of movement. It's using the character controller to do the movement, which means that it 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 brings in a lot of stuff like collision detection really easily. Like if I add a cube and place that somewhere and then I play and then I try and walk into the cube then I won't be able to go through it and that yeah it fairly easily gives us a nice bit of interactivity and now I can add another script I think I'll add a jump script to this uh, keyboard jump and all this script does is when my computer decides to load what the jump script does is it just basically listens for it detects whether the character is on the ground and then if it is then it listens for um, jump to be pressed and when it does it just lets the character jump and then it uses a little bit of gravity it's generally not to use not good to use the inbuilt physics for characters characters you normally want to fake the physics a little bit because it just using using real physics with it can be a little bit troublesome at times anyway so that's that's working pretty much and another thing to do is add a few objectives inside of the game itself we'll add some some stuff to pick up um, Actually, I'll just quickly add some materials to stuff so that it just looks a little bit different. I'll create a 
cylinder and this can just be like a coin I'll just toggle the scale in the input I So that looks a little bit like a gold coin. And I'll just rotate it around. And I'll actually add a script onto this that makes it just constantly rotate because that's kind of a cool effect for pick upable objects. Um, I just need to determine how much I want it to rotate and on which axis so from playing around it seems that maybe I want it to just rotate on the Y axis about a hundred degrees a second roughly and I'll just drag the coin into my prefabs I'll just name it coin and I'll also add a script onto it I'll just go um, Uh, I made a script called pickup and pickup just basically contains an ID and not too much else and I'll just set the ID on this to coin and that works with another script that I've made that you can put on the player uh, we'll give the player an inventory and also give it the ability to collect pickups and I'll tell the pickups just where the inventory is so it knows where to put it so when the player walks over a pickup then it'll add it to its inventory and at the moment we can see that's not quite happening oh it's also because the collider is not a trigger the pickup won't work this needs to be set with the capture collider to is trigger and then when we play this again when we bump into it we should see that that disappears and also uh, on my sphere in my inventory we have one coin which is what we wanted so anyway I'll just quickly play with this a little bit so that it looks a bit more like an actual level um, I'll move the camera so it's a bit more of an eagle's eye point of view and rotate it down I won't spend too much time on this I'll just make that my little wall and then my exit can be over in the corner and I'll just make a few more coins to pick up so I'll just duplicate them and duplicate those 
so that we have a few coins to pick up. And if I look at my character, see so he's got two coins. And as he picks up more, that number will increase. And I'll just make these coins a little bit lower, they're a little bit too high. Anyway, I'll add one more thing that's fairly useful. I'll just duplicate this and I shall change the size of it. This will act like a door and we'll make a button that will make the door open. I'll just add another another cube and I'll make that one stuck a lot in fairly well into the ground and I'll add a component to that and that'll just be a script I made called game button and to the door I'll add a script called game door and on the button I shall just set the door to this and you see a line appears that's just a line in the script that just is there for indication purposes anyway we'll just rename this I'll rename that to door so it's easy to tell what's going on and I'll name that button and we'll just quickly test that and see how it goes I might need to change the button to a trigger yeah it looks like I do oops I shall just change the button to a trigger and then I'll give it another go and yes our door disappears cool and just one more thing before I finish off this video I shall add another cube and this cube will be kind of the exit trigger and with that having the level exit script on that that will just when something touches that it'll basically pause the game and let us restart the level. I'll just turn off the mesh renderer so it doesn't actually appear in the game but when the player goes over it then it should trigger and the, word, the display of it isn't very big, it's just kind of there as a demonstration so you can change it afterwards. But anyway, that lets you restart the game. And we can wander around and collect all the objects. I'll just select this so that we can see the inventory changing. And leaves the level and game over. Anyway, uh, that's all for today I guess. I'll put, I'll make a zip file with all the scripts and some demo stuff with that in it and I'll upload that somewhere and put a link in the comments and yeah, if anyone has any suggestions for tutorials or anything else you'd like me to make a video about, please leave me a message and I'll try and make a make some videos for you. Um, yeah, and please like, subscribe, comment, etc. Thanks guys.